nasty river. Don't you fucking dare. Wow. wow. Victor's coming in with the four bat. It's 3.4 behind. Oh, oh my um, word. He's just randomly putting chips on top of that tower before sliding it in. What's up, poker fans? Welcome back to another Black Cash Poker video, where we bring you the best highlights and moments of the most entertaining poker events. Before getting into it, we would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos consistently. The shortest stack, kings in the first hand of the final table. The butchers. Not for now. <laughs> he just wins all the money. He defends from the big blind with King 10. He's going to need help to get out of this one. Up against pocket kings. He misses. As many chips. 14. Run, and he snap checks it back and pings what a the play. king on the turn. <laughs> Isidur checks once more, and now Ami will bet. Is it a flicks in the call? River five completes the flush draw. They're playing remarkably fast. This is this is all day, just turbo turbo duh. <laughs> you see famous online just making ridiculous snap decisions for hundreds of thousands ago. <laughs> not gonna and how much are we gonna go for here? A lot or a little? That well, looks like not a ton. Oh. <coughs> This is not automatic for Whistleblower here. Wow, <laughs> what a player. He's such a boss. What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> Victor raising it up with the 5 3 offsuit from the cutoff. Something we saw yesterday. He just played basically every hand. <laughs> You know what it is? It's it's interesting because it's not every hand. It's any hand. It's different <laughs> yeah, because sorry. every hand is in his range, but he's not playing every single hand. He takes he takes one off here and there. That's quite right. <laughs> wow. Victor's coming in with the four bet. One point eight million. And like Ace Jack, if you do get four bets, so hard to continue. Will he show it? I'm sure, he's got to show it, Tyler. I don't think so. He's, he's praying for someone to say, <coughs> show the bluff. <laughs> wow, trouble for him, because he's opened his queens. But Victor ran and sat behind with the aces. Just four bet the three, five the hand before. He's probably going to get to five bet this one. <laughs> it's at 900. He does just move all in. Snap cool. Aces versus queens then. 13 and a half million chip pot on this final table. Christopher at risk. His pocket queens against the aces of Victor Ramden. And eight, seven, deuce the flop. Two diamonds, both players with one. It's in bad shape here. We'll need a queen, otherwise he finishes ninth. Stopping short, putting the jacket on as the river comes. Three of hearts, no good for Christopher. Victor Randman will knock him out in ninth place. Chris will pick up $27,500 for his effort. And Victor now, massive chip lead. That was a big pot. Action then to Randman, we know. Man, he likes to play a lot of hands. Ace five goes for the three bet. A little bit less snug. <laughs> a fraction. Quite a small size now, just 425 <coughs> more. Let's look at the clock. They're so deep, he may uh, decide not to yeah. four bet. He does just call. Yeah. One and two in chips. Well, I see consideration here. Well, for both players, but especially David. That's the second stack. Well, King 10 9. Just for the gut shot to go with his pocket jacks. Yeah, that's right. No, it's 20. 
It's, I, I don't know. I've never played a party one with the like, shot clock, the but all the, all the EPCs, right. it was 30. I don't really know why they would do 20. Like, 30, 30 seems reasonable. People like stolen, obviously, max. Yeah. Bubbles, so, so 20 is right. I don't know. I guess it's like you can't really do that because then you have to like, where do you draw the line, you know? Yeah, exactly. So I guess you can't really do that, but. Yeah, 20, 20 is aggro, you're right. Seven on the turn. Clock, brother. Gives David a double gutter Check. now. Go along with his pair. Check. Victor waves the white flag. Check. Fishing here. Jax. Oh. Monster. And Parker finds 10 7 up in the big blind. It's 50, 50 picks right? deep. 350. Cold. Up. Wow, four, five, six. Parker flops and opening into straight draw. Check. Four hundred and twenty-five thousand. Parker just comes with a check call rather than oh. trying to get aggressive with the open ender. All right, it's a <coughs> more interesting spot against someone like Victor who raises your wide range and see that such a high frequency. That card is interesting. May have decided to check raise some of the time there. Didn't this time. And as you say, he has turned top pair, but it's not the turn he wanted to see. Well, I'm going to bet here. Some of these bets where I guess he... He knows Wurz is going to check back all the time, so he doesn't want to let that happen. He's going to go ahead and fire out because he thinks he has the best hand. He might learn something from it. I don't think it's a bluff trying to get a better hand to fold. All right, but what's he really saying is go ahead. Does he make this bet size with two pair? Would he, would he check two pair? Or would he bet it? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that Victor, was not Vic, what Parker intended. Victor obviously back. thinks he would bet two pair because he lays down kings. He does. David comes along with the king queen off. Mormon's probably coming in with a 10 8 suited. Yeah. If they were deeper, he'd probably three bet. I don't think he's going to in this case. Sizing up his options 1.4 already in the pot. It's 3.8 million. Wow! <laughs> More firing it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, what a boss. Going for it here. It really is. I mean, obviously, Kevin's going to get out of the way, but Amy's laid the trap here with the pocket queens. Yeah, perfectly. The only saving grace for Mormon, of course, is that Amy's the only player at the table he covers. To Mormon's credit, the only way this doesn't work is if he runs into it in the blinds or uh, someone was actually trapping with their right. calls. But I mean, I guess David could have a hand like yeah, the gun behind. Could also yeah, David could be playing a hand like nines, I guess. Mormon has too many chips for that. I think I think David folds those hands. There will be one. I He's jammed just over 20 bigs. For Mormon. Otherwise, Ami will double up. Three of diamonds on the river, no good for Chris, and you can see there. He's going to be left with yeah, yeah. Uh, five ten in the pot if Moore were to win this one. And while it's looking difficult, deuce three four, Victor with top two, he will bet it. Middle makes the fold. And Moore will need some runners here. Moore will yeah. take a chop. Calling for a five six run out. <laughs> hey, there we go. He's got a chance then. Ace or six for the chop. He uh, called it. Six. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a play. Look at that nod. That's the nod he of a man who it. knows. Sorry about that. It's the master plan. So you've done it. I mean, 
with Jack Doocy Diamonds. Up. Good luck, Chris. You know what, I was wishing you before, but I Suddenly, Tyler's in a million chip pot. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Not just is he in the million chip pot, but he's flopped top pair. And, well, Kevin turns Gotta a pair. Gotta fade some now. I mean, as long as that gut shot draw. And, wow, here we go then. Mormon cooking with gas. <laughs> we'll be up to a million chips after this one. Kevin's checked, I'm not sure. <coughs> Amy's gonna, Amy's gonna help him out just in case. He's gonna. Yeah. Nasty river. <laughs> he says nasty yeah. river. Oh. I, was, I was hoping you had less than me. Okay. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love God, it. fucking damn it, Christopher. Yeah, uh, so is it a woman who be getting it in? Wow. Here we go. Normally this would be a three bet get it in spot. I mean, it probably still is. Ah, oh, for sure it has to. Can't be f avoiding this spot. Five seconds. Thirty bigs cut off button, and of course Kevin does cover. Oh, Andy covers. Yeah, I thought he puts a million on top. We make, we'll make the call with ace, ten of spades. Ham plays pretty well post. 3.4 million in the pot. Oh, 5K. Wow, Hello? Jack, nine, four, two spades. Is it a flops the nut flush draw? He has a 5K. It's a punt. Ooh, Kevin oh. quickly bets a hefty amount. Um, punt that shit. Wait, so I don't want to yeah. And this is a sport uh, Mormon's loving life. See this is going on. all in here, probably. Rip. When you lose the tournament now, you get to blame someone. <laughs> he does move all in. Three, three's all in. It's another 3.3 .3 million for Kevin to call. Five he does let it go. So a big pick up there from Isidore. Climbs up to over 9 million in chips. And again, Kevin's opened up less than 30 bigs. Imagine Tonka will just 3-bet and get this in. It's at 1.5. Quite a big sizing, Tyler, given that the opener is sub-30 bigs. I agree. That's uh, abnormally large. You know, most of these guys these days obviously look for over 3x with their entire range, but against sub 30 big blind stacks, you can, of course, make it smaller. And look at more with the pocket sixes. Here he goes. Hoping to get a heads up with uh, just over cards with a huge overlay. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's ran into queens. A smaller three bet could get appeal from Kevin here. Kevin doesn't like folding this hand. This one it could get appeal, but it looks like Kevin's gonna fold this hand. Well, I guess he's thinking it's hard for Parker to bluff and post bluff <coughs> right. It's gonna get to yeah, show down a lot true. more. It does give it up. Don't you fucking dare! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got suits Both of them. Well, more is right. Suits are covered. Parker said he would give up a pinky rather than double up Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's in a spot to do it. <laughs> Someone run out there. Take a pinky. Yeah. Make a big pull, like two times or something. Boy, it was a sign that hit six. I figured you had a big pair, but let me yeah, fold into you, but I wanted to call just because of that, just in case. Please, let me keep the pinky. <laughs> Oh, then Mormon at risk here. Eight left. We'll need a lot of help here for one of those two sixes. It is a seven <laughs> crossbar. So Chris Mormon leaves in eighth place. Gets himself thirty-five thousand dollars for his efforts. Isildur raises up 
here under the gun, pocket jacks. Ami has flat queen line of clubs. And now, well, what's Jonathan up to in the small blind with king three? Grab and squeezing chips. <coughs> Doesn't look enough. It looks like a small three bet there, Tyler. Yeah, only just over three X out of the small. To endure an Isolde stir down now. Isolde does make the call. It's 450, right? Yeah. These two go heads up to the flop. 3.9 already in the middle. I'm sorry, this one's slowing down. <laughs> these guys, these guys yep. are going for it. Yeah, it wasn't that small of a three. I mean, it was a smallish th squeeze, but uh, when they only have they have 40 bigs between all of them, it's not it's not that small because it's still a lot of pressure on your stack. Well, Ten, five, six, two diamonds. Jonathan has a backdoor flush draw. It's a bet of 1.1 million. That's pretty small. So when he gets called here, or I mean, he could easily get raised here, but if he gets called here, uh, he hasn't defined his holder's range much because this, the bet's just too small. Right. Isidore, you know, most likely just call here because, well, he's in position. He doesn't necessarily want to get the whole lot in here in this spot, and it's hard for his opponent, I guess, to go completely. Ape. See what I did there? <laughs> With lovely, these, uh, lovely. Well, he, he has turned a gut shot, Jonathan. I say six million in the pot. Is he really going to put Isildur to the test here? Uh, it's hard to get anything that was going to call the flop to fold now. Except that bet was so small that a big bet could do a different, would mean something else. Right, but he has to basically risk the whole stack now, doesn't he? To yeah, he does. To make this bluff. One of these spots where you're asking yourself, how am I in the six million chip pot with the king three? What happened? I mean, this is a spot where you can give yourself a decent price since he bet so small on the flop. He could bet around two million to give himself a decent pride at price at hitting the river. If he doesn't get jammed on, but probably will get jammed on. Wow. That's, that's exactly what he's trying to do, but uh, I think Isler's going to put it in. Two million is the bet. Well, so we can see Jonathan's way out of line here, but does Isildur know that? Does he know that he's going to be making this play as wide as this? Isildur using a rare time chip. All of Jonathan's uh, sizing has been consistent with very good hands, too. This is a horrible spot for Isildur. He's just not going to get bluffed again on the river, so I think you just take the equity you got, put it in now. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. I mean, I, mean, I can't. Fold. I can't really fault it. It just looks so strong. It does. It looks very strong. And I totally agree with that. I'm still surprised by the fold, but the sizing was definitely consistent with really strong hands. I think it's the size of the three bit pre was just gonna get cool. Yeah. Well, Kevin calls on the button with five six of hearts. Parker also calls from the big blind with eight nine offsuit. King seven six two clubs. This is action here. Parker the open ender, Isildo with a flush draw, Kevin, well, with a pair, but who knows what he'll be up to.
<laughs> There's about two seconds to call with his bottom pair. And now, what's Parker going to do in this situation? <laughs> right, I mean, there's three million ore in the pot. Isolde has 4.4 .4 behind. Getting a pretty good price with the way Kevin flicked it in. If he just jams it up, he's probably not going to win the pot right here. So probably just got to take the, the price you're being given. Yeah, so he decides to do. Isolde turns the flush and a lock on the pot. Parker may suspect is a chance with his eight of clubs. Is it looking good to win a big pot here? 3.6 already in there. Kevin, of course, did turn that open a straight draw with that card as well. Is it a lining up a bet here? It's going to look pretty strong, though, isn't it, to bet this second time three-way off that stack? Uh, absolutely, it is. Kevin did improve his hand. Yeah. <coughs> it's going to to continue, but you never know. Should find a fold here three ways, and he does. Equally interesting spot for Parker. I wonder if Parker saw him fold the jacks earlier, if that's already come around. Yeah, it should be any moment. We'll find that one out. No. <laughs> now he's giving it up. <laughs> what is it a river. Show river. Even without getting action there, picks up a big pot. Nice increase to his stack. Isolde with the aces. Here he comes, 28 big blinds. Let's see who's going to bluff him off of this one. Flats the bottom of Queen at Hearts. And that one, David in oh. for cheap from the big blind with 7 5 of spades. That's the kind of hands you want to have to take on the aces. And well, Queen at 9 deuce. Ami flops top Check. pair with a backdoor flush draw. Check. Isolde's aces still out in front. David with nothing but the Check. backdoor spade draw. And look at this. Checks all the way around. And Queen on the turn. <laughs> this this is this the checks that, that flop, he huh? checks and checks again and now uh, Ami's gonna bet and there's we'll see Isodo I don't think gives him credit for checking back on Ace on this board, so he's gonna I guess play his two check calls. Seven hundred thousand the bet. So you Dutch or German then or something? Yeah, you can't read that. Wow. Right. Wow. <laughs> going yeah, for the min awesome. check raise. He wants to join in with these crazy raises. Yeah. Obviously feeling a player like Ami's not going to fold anything for 700,000 more that he's bet for value. So strange. Jamie can't even really love it, I don't think. I mean, I <laughs> right. assume he's going to call and see what happens. It does indeed make that call. 4.8 in the pot. There's 3.4 behind. Oh my oh, word! What a Two. river for Isolde. That, uh, in the snap he moves all in. All in. The, uh, the check raise on the turn, it's funky. It's, it's kind of like a the limit hold'em play where you raise to make it so that the next street you can get a cheaper card. Right. So the river he's he get to show down cheaper by doing that check raise. If he checks again, he might not have to pay much or anything. Or he's queen. Wouldn't expect him to have aces. <coughs> There's, there's also a chance that the turn was a weird bluff, and now he just has a pair of aces. And wow. It's good. <laughs> Ami lets it go. <laughs> he doesn't think it can be a bluff. Incredible. 
I mean, he can't beat anything but a bluff, right? I mean, yeah. he's like shoving an ace for value. The ace king there. He's gonna bring the food up here, will you? David raises under the gun. Ace king. It'll turn the cut up at ace ten. Let's join in this action. He's gonna get some action. Anyways. <coughs> 1.75. So they're coming up on a dinner break where they're going to see all these <laughs> hands that have gone down. Uh, I wonder if afterwards that <laughs> chills everybody out. I think it probably will. Cool. Wow, look at this, David. It just flats with his ace king. Keeps in the ace 10 of Isildur. 3.9 million in the pot. Isildur has 7.5 back. <laughs> Queen 9 8, all diamonds. David flops flush draw. Isildur with a gut shot straight flush draw. Check. Can you fucking bust a few people already, please? Jesus. Somebody. Check. And we'll check that back that draw. David then still ahead with his ace high. Well, he's going to take a stab here. It's one of these bets, Tyler's where he's just he just doesn't really want to check corn. He's desperate to see a river, right? Yeah. You might get a few worse hands to million. fold, or a few better hands to fold. Maybe a few hands that are worse that have some equity to fold. This would have been kind of a weird spot here. Won't fold just oh. yet. I see drawing very thin here. He was in a spot where he could actually get some real value hands to fold if he were to get aggressive there. Well, River, no good for either player. Both having ace high in the 7 million chip pot. 7 million means so much to both of them. Check. And if Isildur does take a stab here, what hand is he trying to make fold? It's bet the turn. Is it exactly the kind of hand he's up against? Uh, I mean, there's yeah, there's ace jack. There's there's probably some pairs that could fold. I mean, there's enough out there that maybe even a I mean a, a queen could fold. This is going to be a big bet, a big pot. He's <laughs> just randomly putting chips on top of that tower before sliding it in. 3.25 million, the bet. Trying to get maybe uh, 9, 10, 8, 10, 9, Jack, 8, Jack. But do, do, they, do those hands bet the turn? After checking the flop, they could. Well, we've seen Dave made one unbelievable bluff on Victor. Can he sniff this one out? No, he lets it go. Isildur picks up this huge pot and is now up to 13.2 million in chips. The pot just matters so much. You just can't let it go on the end. You just can't check it back. John Van Fleet just folds the sixes here to Parker's under the gun open. Here we go then. Ami and Parker all in. Ami at risk with his kings. <coughs> Parker, well, he's wearing a logo on his shirt that might be useful here. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't. Well, yeah, nine, yeah. nine, deuce. Okay. We need an eight, eight, eight. Oh, diamonds. Diamond. Five <laughs> diamonds on the turn. Changes nothing. Parker will need one of those eights. Ami will win with the rest of the deck. And while five on the river, that will secure the double up. If you guys would like to see more final table highlights from the biggest events in the world, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as we do our best to provide highlights on a weekly basis. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video.
he will call with the jack nine. Well, a ten at nine four flop. Turn five. Able to course check back those sevens. And wow. Awesome. And he checks again. Might make David think he has the best hand now. Right. <coughs> That's either what do you I mean how, how do you feel about that check? Would you prefer a, a bet there from the nine on this turn? The pot's one point five million and he has what, three point three million back. Uh it's, it's hard because if you do your a lot of your stack ends up in the pot. He's going with check call instead to try to keep it as small as possible. Now there's as much in the pot as there is in his stack, and a seven comes on the oh, end. Wow. <coughs> That's pretty unlucky. A seven grace, of course, is a four to a straight. Wait, oh, they're on. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I was thinking he was going to bet the turn. He didn't. I'm just all over the place here. This <laughs> <laughs> what did you have for dinner? This dinner break got me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty tough spot for Ami. So here we go. Ami at risk. Seven remain here. The rest of the players will be funking for a 6-4. And well, there it is, Tyler. King 8-6. So David flops bottom pair and has a backdoor flush draw. Ami, uh, still two live pairs to hit. Seven will change nothing. I mean, he's queen or jack on the river. And the eight on the river. That will seal Ami's fate. He will depart in seventh place and pick up 60,000 Canadian dollars for his efforts. Parker's like, I think I want him to call. What? Yeah. <laughs> I think he said he got a much better hand last time. Now he thinks he's got, oh, he's got like ace four or something. Parker's going to yell at him when he calls. I don't think so. Parker seems too nice a guy for that. Call. Call. He does make the call. And <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> look, look at Parker. He wants to yell at King Jack for his life. The 22 well, bigs. I have a much better hand than last time, so I thought he probably had ace jack, and uh, I started panicking. <laughs> He will need help. Come on, that is not help. Not Jack great. eight four two diamonds. He needs to avoid a diamond first. Well, that double gives him a double, double gutter. And the Jack of Spades luck, will Good seal play. his fate. Parker then out in sixth place. I like Parker. He's a good dude. Looks like fifty-seven thousand five hundred for his efforts. Uh, we'll raise up sevens. Kevin flat ace five off from the button. Please. David oh, makes it 2.85 from the small. This could Two be trouble for Isildur here. Five handed, about 30 bigs. David has squeezed. He's shocked if Isildur doesn't jam this one. He has called. Call. Should say be shocked if he doesn't play this one. Call's interesting, but he is in position. Right, that's it. Okay, he only has just a little bit of a pop back, but he knows he should know roughly what the good flops are. Obviously against Jax, he's in trouble. One million two hundred is fifty thousand. David bets one point two five. Back to Isildur. Pretty interesting to see how he plays this hand. It's just hard <coughs> cool. Tyler, a big pot forming, 9.5 in the middle. Isildur with 6.7 back. It's an interesting just call because you give your opponent a decent price to hit whatever he has that you beat. On the flip side, though, you perhaps get to show down when you are beat.
is all the all but 2.4 million. I'm constantly surprised by the the superstars, uh, the ability to play multiple streets on such a short stack. Yeah, it's it's really <coughs> eye-opening when you watch guys like Isidore play. They they do get so many more decisions in in a hand than you might expect. Because of that, I figure the more decisions you make, the bigger your edge. I'm on. Ha -ha. I guess he's trying to get David to hear him off with like. Well, he's king with a spade, bet, but <laughs> so thin. Looks like David wants to fold. So so thin this bet. You're risking your torment life here. <coughs> There's no way Isolde thinks he's bluffing here, does he? No, I, it's, <laughs> it can't be. No, it's not bluffing. Sure thinks he's up against. I guess. Yes, my God, big spade. Four point three. Four point three. Oh. Wow. Queens and Jack. Was just going for. A super sick bluff. I, I don't know what that. What I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm lost. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so we lo we lose Victor, Isildur one Blom. Still pretty deep. Yeah. Wow, David does just flat. Whoa, look at this hand. <laughs> now with the raise and the flat in there. I don't see him just calling Sorry. here. I no, think what he's we've seen try to play for stacks. He's definitely made some squeeze plays already today as well, and of course these mm -hmm. guys will know all the hands that have been played. So, picking up calling chips. Nine hundred, right? Wow, oh. just cools. Look at Victor with ace five <laughs> diamonds, and he's got that's what, nineteen big hand. blinds. This I mean, that's also a jammable spot. Right. Looks like he wants to just take it though to the flop. And these four hands, four handed. We might not have a three That's bet. That's unbelievable. It looked like he wanted a call right away. Now it looks like he wants to put it in. Oh, he decides that. Wow. <laughs> I waited too long. I'm just going to call. Four way flop. <coughs> four hand a game. But we've got two. They all have good hands. <laughs> ace post suit, ace king, and two pocket tents. Somehow we've not seen a three bet. Queen, six, deuce. Who wins the pot? Quick. The tens are Quick. chopping. No, who's going to win the pot? Quick. David. Victor. <laughs> Just pick the most unlikely. You, you, you got me. <laughs> we got a bet. No, I'm not betting. You got I'm me. I'm not betting. 1.8 million C bet. Oh. David does make the call. Cool. Brutal spot for Jonathan. Yeah. It's funny he voted that quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too. Really a lot of the time there, David is calling with a smaller pocket pair. Just Queen X. Could be Queen Ace. So look at this. Kevin's not done yet. Firing. 4.4. Quick bet. Some authority. Now this gets a stupid spot for David, right? Yeah. This guy's C bet four way and now <coughs> wants to fire the turn into the chip leader. 4.4 million. I mean, it looks so strong. I mean, he might put some stock into what happened there physically, just grabbing the chips so quickly and authoritatively right. and fumbling them. And Yep, he's not not done yet. Oh. Now is Kevin done? Kevin has over half the pot left in his stack. Is he gonna pull fire the last shell? Empty the clip, as they say. 
No, he's Just not. He gives check up. it down. Pretty sure David's going to give up also. Happy to turn the hand over. Oh, oh, man, man. I mean, this is the realm of turning in, in pretty good hands into random bluffs. Absolutely, that's true. Couldn't say and anything today, but he does check it back. I'm going to see what Jonathan says when he sees those two tens. Never get it. Can you deuce three? Um, you never win with ace king, and Silder never wins with jacks. <laughs> it looked like he wanted to fold the ace queen, but <laughs> ace nine is definitely going in. So here we go then. Kevin at risk of elimination. His ace nine against David's king jack of clubs. Here we go then. Deuce seven three. All good for Kevin. And the river pairs the deuce. So another double up here out of the deal. <laughs> I mean, they definitely induce you here at playground. It isn't a tournament clock. It shows you all times what, <laughs> yeah. the, what an even shot would be. Then these guys are just like. Let's just get it done. Check. <laughs> Check. Check. David checks back the ace of diamonds on the king 5 3 2 diamond board. Kevin is ahead with his pair of kings. David does call cool with his ace high on the turn. Jack on the river. Three point five. Pretty quick bet yet again. Three point five million. Show the bluff. It's good for the game. <laughs> Kevin raising king seven from the small. David defends ten six from the big. Oh wow, what a flop for David. Top pair in a flush draw. Check. Check. Kevin does check it on over. 1.3. Call. Quick call from Kevin with the king seven here. Non-believer in the house. Queen on the turn. Does give him a gut shot. Check. And it's not a card that Dave's going to like seeing too much, right? A lot of the check calls check. <coughs> do get improved by a queen. Correct, and he does check it back. And he he's going to like flush. that one. I wonder if Kevin tries to bluff his way out of this hole he's got himself into. <laughs> it's, that is the case. Here comes the raise. raise. Ten million. Ten million five hundred thousand. <laughs> Kevin's like, I'm in this spot. Ten million and five hundred thousand. Hmm. How did I find myself here? Find a three bet. You can do it. <laughs> oh, oh. <wow. laughs> He hasn't had to go for a few orbits, so it's only fair he gets them again. Jonathan looks like he wants to play the With queen 11 three. big blinds, he's going to defend. The right. reverse implied odds go out the window when you only have that many chips, so... <laughs> Just trying to flop something and go with it. Well, <coughs> that's something. 3-4 jack. And here it comes. I think we're going to see a oh, check rip. Maybe. Just check. He does check. And here comes the bet. I do think Jonathan's going to jam here. But I don't know, he might be one of those heroes that likes to play uh, three streets. With <laughs> uh, <all laughs> in. Oh. I'll do it. Well, he will be called, and he is at risk now of oh, being eliminated. 
Jonathan will need a queen or a three. I'm in trouble. Well, Otherwise, oh. it's his kings will eliminate him. I got queen three. Okay. So I got outs. <laughs> <laughs> you do have outs. I got outs. Five of them. Two times. Oh, oh Jack on the turn. <clears throat> Removes the queen as an out. Just one of the remaining threes will do it for Jonathan. And a king on the river just for good measure. Victor improves the king's fall. Jonathan leads us in fourth place. Picking up $90,000 for his troubles. And well, a very protracted four-handed battle there. Oh, it was nice. It was nice to see uh, Ape Styles back in the live arena. Oh. Well, Victor raises the 6-4 clubs from the small blind. Kevin defends 5-4 and the 5-7-9 flop gives Victor a straight draw. Kevin does have a pair. Well, looks like he wants to raise with bottom pair. Victor snap Victor's calls. Snap calls. Just so quick, like I say. I thought Victor might consider putting it in there. Hot size bet behind. And wow, what a turn card this is for Victor. Gives him the straight. Kevin drawing now just to a chop, but he's pulling out some more chips. It's not going to slow him down, apparently. 2.5 the bet. And snap <laughs> all in for Victor. <laughs> I think Kevin realizes that he's toast in his hand. <laughs> Bottom pay, he'd imagine he's going so. to give it up. And he's kicking himself for betting again on the turn there. Picked it a raise up, and well, Kevin does move all in. And here you go, Victor snap calls. Victor, King Jack of Clubs against Kevin's Ace Knight. Exactly the same spot Kevin doubled up before. And while Jack 8 3, Victor flops top pair. Kevin now needing an ace. Well, he will leave us in third place. Well, nine on the turn. Doesn't give him a couple extra outs. Well, River is a deuce. Kevin will be our third place finisher here. He's going to walk off with $120,000. Yeah, there we are going to quickly hear from Marinella. I'm guessing she's going to grab Kevin on his way out before we go on this break. Oh, David's uh, employing the button limp strategy heads up. I'm surprised it's deep, though. Let's see if they maybe got to 30 big blinds, but... 60 plus bigs deep. Well, Victor will fire out with his open and straight draw. This could be all over right here. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Okay. We got a call from David. Well, David, I think, is very content to play as many pots as possible against Victor. That's Keep what things it looks small. like. <clears throat> this 3.6 million into 4.2 I think he over bet the flop as well just a little bit bigger than the pot Monteva going nowhere with bottom pair cool. 11.4 in the pot going to the river it is a four. Let's give Victor a pair. Check. Checks it. I can't imagine David doing anything but One checking. Zero. And there it is. Four. Oh, David Five. pulling out a three bet from the big blind with queen five. Four point five. Kind of a big th or a big open and kind of a small three bet. Yeah, right. Wow, out of position. Victor calls the three bet with the 9-6 off. 
As I say, didn't make it cheap for him. It was it was getting a good price in position. Well, <laughs> ace nine four now takes the lead with his pair of nines. David's going to have to continue with the ace. Right, it's the first time he's three, but heads up, you he can't have you not go barreling at this ace. Yeah. Three point seven. <coughs> does go small, which yeah. makes sense. At least one call. So a big pot brewing here, 16.4 in the middle. Oh, good card for Victor. Yeah, less likely David can have an ace. And take some credibility away. It is a three bet pot, he could go for all three streets. He's lining something up. Six point nine million the bet. Yeah, he's basically betting behind. Victor's hand. Six point nine. I have twenty uh twenty seven more or I have this, but That is six point nine million. They both have about thirty left in their stack. It's a real tough spot here for Victor. It is. That is a good card for him. It takes some credibility away from David, but uh, extension. Oh. it's still a tough spot. If wow. he calls, uh, he might be facing a shove on the river or at least another ten. Yeah, can't begrudge him. One point six. David will raise it up. Thank you. To defense, Jack four and Jack nine seven. Each player makes top pair. One point three. David does make a C bet. to calls. Wow, five on the turn. David in great shape here. Spelled doom for Victor, that's a tough one. <coughs> 5.8 in the pot. All depends how big David goes here. 3.8. There we go. Victor quickly calls. So 13.4 in the pot. Victor has 19 million behind going into this river. There's some rivers that could save him. Oh, that's <laughs> one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just as Dave was thinking, how much can I bet on this river? How much are you going to get paid? It'll be close to winning. So, can I still bet this? Oh yeah, now it's going to be back down to 3.8 or whatever. Hey, cool. 4.2. Chop it up, boys. Uh, chop it up. Seven. Chop it up. Yeah. You know, I was thinking they change these chips up so they can play their 350, 700 level, but is there any point someone's going to fold the button? <laughs> Make sure you're going to at least call cool anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just be yeah. 700, 700. Done it. There it is, the oh, trophy here. Thing. Okay, day two tomorrow. You and just a few other hundred people are playing in. Can you get him, buddy? I have more chips than most of them. Raise. It's true. Come on, then. 1.9. Raise well. all in. Well, this could be it. Dave has raised. Victor has moved all in. Uh, Instantly moves all in. Yeah. I mean, David asking for a count, but I, I can't imagine whatever the answer would be that he'd ever fold a pair of tens uh, here heads up against nine, Victor. 25.4. No, of course not. He's definitely 25.4 total? Yeah. It's more than that. Well, still thinking, but he does make the call, Tyler. Here we go. Victor at risk with his ace three. David's tens, if they were to hold, would crown him the champion here of our high roller. Sorry? Of course. If Victor were to spike that ace, he would take the chip lead heads up. 50 to 30.
much emotion being shown at the moment. A little bit of frustration from Victor. He thinks he got slow rolled with uh, David thinking about that. Well, 10-9-6 wow. flop. That's a pretty good window, Corbin. You've got 10s against ace-3. There's a chop run out. It is, <laughs> yeah. 7-8 seven, seven, for a chop. But, well, here it comes. <laughs> Tyler's called it in. Oh, An 8 goodness. for the chop. Any other card, and David will be our champion. Jack of spades Again. on the river. That is it. Yeah. Victor Ramden finishes in second place. He will pick up $180,000. But it is David Eldridge who wins this title of $300,000. And he will forevermore be the Party Poker Live Millions in North America High Roller Champion. 2018. If he can, you know, <laughs> get that out any bars to show off, then good luck to him. It's a pretty nice feeling. I was impressed though on the final, Tyler. He seemed to be the one that's most in control um, through this Absolutely. final table. Obviously.